Hi, my name is Carrie. I'm a surgical technologist at the Department of Perioperative Medicine at the National Institutes of Health. And we have started an initiative here, taking our cloth wraps that wrap our instruments when we sterilize them and turning them into blankets for the homeless at Bethesda Cares. This video will instruct you on how to make the blankets from beginning to end. So the first thing we do is in the operating room, we receive our sterilized instruments in these blue wraps. Once the item is removed and placed on the sterile field, we check the wrap for any holes. And if there are none, the instrument is ready to be used. Then the sterile blue wrap is folded up and removed from the operating room. The blue wraps make up about 19% of the operating room's trash. They're sent to the landfill and left there for years and years. We at the NIH accumulate about 30 wraps a day. Once we accumulate four, we have enough to make our first blanket. Each sheet is about 48 by 48 inches. We open them up and they're double plied. We release, break, or cut the seam at one end. A lot of the wraps will have tape on them from when we sterilize them. Make sure when you're sewing your blanket that the tape goes on the inside. Once you've opened up two wraps to full length, we put them together. At this point, we will sew three of the edges, the top, one side, and the bottom. We then take another two panels Put them together and sew three sides, one, two, three, and leave the inside empty. Now we put both of those together so you have four panels and sew down the middle. That's what gives us the luxury of having one to sleep on and one to cover up with. This sewing machine was donated to us from Dr. Hernandez, a surgeon in the oncology branch. We are able to use this at home if we don't have a sewing machine at home and would like to help with making the blankets. Flower is going to sew one edge of the blanket just so you get the idea. This is a completed blanket made by Flower. They can use it not only as a blanket, as a mat, they can use it as both, somewhat like a sleeping bag. One of the most important things is to be able to wrap the blanket up. This makes it much easier for them to carry around with them during the day. Thank you so much for watching this instructional video on how to make our blankets. We desperately need volunteers to sew. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, feel free to reach out to me. Thanks.